Now, you saw the definition of limit of a function. Uh, for the explanation of graphical of a limit of function, you see at this graph. I will all explain, uh, so I am going to be explaining you L belongs to the real number, epsilon also belongs to the real number, delta also belongs to the real number, where epsilon and delta are greater than 0, these two terms are greater than 0. So now, see L. This is your L. This is your L of x. Now, for epsilon, see the definition, for epsilon in your range or in your codomain, I am getting my point, for epsilon in your codomain or a range, there is a delta in domain of a particular function f from x to y, f from x to y, there is a delta in x corresponding to epsilon in y as you approach to c from both the sides as you approach to c your f of x will approach to this point that is f of x will approach to this point that is your n nothing but the profix is going to be L. I think now you got a clear concept of a limit of function. This much limit of function is a very simple thing that is for your domain values, for your C, as you approach from both the sides, you are going to approach on your f of x from both the sides to L. This is our limit of a function in simple manner. Clear? For the clarity of what is epsilon, what is delta, what is f, I have explained all this definition and this particular graph. Now I think you have got a clear idea of what is limit of a function. Limit of a function means it is not any superstitious thing, it is a very simple. In the domain of a function, you choose one term, you choose one term and you approach to that term from both the sides LHL and RHL. So LHS and RHS. As you approach to this C, your f of x is going to approach to one point that is your L. Are you clear? That is limit extending to C f of x is equal to L. Please take as a homework that is what is interior point definition and what is neighborhood of a C. You took you, you, you look at these two definitions that is what is neighborhood of a C and what is interior point. Already I have explained in definition interior point means C is in between A and B and neighborhood point means open interval of any point. You is going to be having a neighborhood points. In clear you go through your uh, books or you through notes or you google it you can have that type of defin that definition is no problem. So I think this limit of function is a clear to you. This is what the formal way of explaining limit of a function. Informal way. Informal way is nothing but you find your left hand limit and you find your right hand limit. If those two terms are going to be equal, then limit extending to C f of x is going to be L. Limit extending to C f of x is equal to L. This is your informal way. Have you got my point? This is your informal way. But what we have explained here it is formal way. See, LHL means from your left hand side you are approaching to C. RHL means from right hand side you are approaching to C. Clear? So as you approach from LHL and RHL, you approach to L from LHL and RHL. That is what you are calculating from here. That is clearly explained in your informal way. So formal way. This is your informal way. By looking at the limit of a function, there is one theorem that is if, if 
left hand limit if left hand limit and right hand limit right hand limit exist and equal to l and equal to l then limit extending to c f of x is equal to l then limit extending to c f of x equal to l this is one of the theorem that was studied in informal way by looking at this theorem you define what is limit but in formal way you define by using the graph and by exact definition of limit in some exams where there is a written exam sometime they ask a question to find or to calculate or to show the limit l from this definition please remember it are getting my point so whenever they ask in this procedure that time in theory written exams it is going to be very helpful i think you got a clear idea of limit of a function so next we shall see what are the types of solving the limit of function and with example in further videos we shall go on solving limit of function examples so students make sure that class notes ncert ncert examples rd sharma or gk ranga himalaya publications that is very important books for the board exam and to clear the concepts of your quad j concept of any uh, mathematics see here students so now definition i have already explained you the definition clear what is your definition as x approaches to c from the both the sides your four x will approach this l from the both the side that much is your limit of function and that means means as the four x approaches to c in domain sorry x approaches to c in domain your your four x is going to approach to l approximately equal to l whenever x is approximately equal to c your four x is going to be approximately equal to l that is what your limit of function so now what you do you pause this video to take complete all this notes once and you write all the notes so now you have already cleared the definition now we shall go for evaluation of limits by knowing the concept of limits for a real valued function in exams they are going to ask the problems on this particular concept so what are those type of problems look at here algebraic limits first one is algebraic limits in this algebraic limits we have three types one is factorization method please remember in algebraic limits factorization method look at this example in factorization method this type of problems this is one of the example that's all for factorization method next one rationalization method for rationalization method here you have one example standard formula again you have one example why am i writing all this in front of those examples you must have an idea that if we know factorization method which type of problems in factorization method which type of problems in rationalization method which type of problem in standard formula this is of algebraic limits next coming to trigonometric limits you have limit extending to zero sin x by x type of problems logarithmic limits limit extending to zero log of x plus 1 divided by x type of problems fourth one exponential limits and one of the example next miscellaneous limits and one of the example clear first before going to read your textbooks go to my video 
in detail and understand what is limit of a function, understand graphical representation of a limit of a function. Why I am saying this because whenever you are solving this type of problems in your mind, you will be very clear that what you are solving and what you are doing with your problem. See, without enjoying your problems or without enjoying the concepts, you can't do anything. Working for 16 hours without enjoying the concept, it is not possible. So for that purpose, have some interest in enjoying the topics. For example, factorization means this type of problem, rationalization means this type of problem. If you see any problem in one paper or any problem in any book, directly in your mind you must know that it is of limits of factorization or it's a limit of trigonometric, it's a limit of logarithmic or it is of which type of that type of things you must understand quickly by seeing the problem. If you understand that, you know that you are very much clear with your concepts of limit of a function. By seeing any example, if you are not getting an idea of types of limits or the definition of the limit means you are not still ready for solving the problem. Please understand that. First be ready to solve the problem of problems. So you first be ready to solve the problems. Next you try the problems. Before. Suppose if you are trying, if you get a confused disease of which time, that means you are not that much clear with your concepts. You come back to these topics, you see these all things in two, three textbooks, then you go for the next solving the problems. Clear? So now pause this video to note down all the notes of this particular video.